Hey guys, Kevin here, and what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to save new settings when you're in RetroPie. This is related to RetroArch as well, which is the emulators which I'm going to be showing you. Now, it's a very simple thing, but I thought I'd share it because it's something that I missed. It's perhaps obvious to most people, but I thought I would share it regardless. Um, two crude dudes, let's check this out. So, I had actually been setting up my controls up with X and Y around their own way, for whatever reason. <laughs> um, but most of the emulators actually have the button set up in the right way, everything's good. But, you might want to set up things in a different way. The way this is set up just now is I've got A, B and C, which for most people is probably what you want for the Mega Drive, the Genesis. But, if I go into RetroWatch, which I can do using my hotkey and the X button, you come into here now. Under the quick menu, I can go down and I can change the controls. I can remap the buttons. So if I wanted to put A, B, and C there, I would just have to change the B button to X. So I would have to change that to X. Now, um, I was doing this before. I was changing buttons around and things like that. Um, I'll just change it back just now. I was changing things around and then I found out when I was coming out and then going back in later, the buttons, all the buttons, all the differences, all the changes I made, nothing was being saved and I had to go through and change the buttons again. But it's actually very simple. From the main screen, and you can see this is Retro Arch. All you do is you go down to configurations. Once you've made any changes that you want, um, is that showing you? Yeah, that's maybe better there. So you go into your quick menu, You've got your controls, you've got your screenshot, you've got shaders, you can set up, you can change anything, options, as everything can be done in here. Um, in fact, there was a little option there as well for um, three button pad, etc. All you do is you come down to configurations. So once you've made all your changes, you come down to configurations and then just save current configuration. And you can see there's a little note down the bottom that's been saved. Now you can save it as a new configuration and then, you know, you can load that as well. So you can save as many configurations as you want, which is useful if different people are playing different games and, you know, they prefer different setups. But that's all it is. You just have to do it through configuration. So this will be useful for anyone who uses RetroPie, anyone who uses Emulation Station, and it's all going through RetroArch. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this quick tutorial useful.